Hello and welcome to the Loose Butthole Reviews. I am your host, Smokey, and joining with me, as always, is my co-host, Spooge. Hey. And before we get into whatever we're reviewing proper, we have three mo- three rules that we always have to go over. First rule is our rating must be a 5 out of 5, 1 being we hate it, 5 being we love it. Rule number 2 is if we want our money back, we give it a Jeff Goldblum. And rule number three is if we both agree that it deserves it, we will give it a god tier, a six out of five. And today we are reviewing Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Yeah. And we can already go ahead and uh, give our ratings, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Uh, My rating is a five out of five. Oh, nice. Yes, and uh, what would your rating be? Yeah. Four out of five. All right, all right. Uh, you slight. I I love this film, and uh, you uh, you like this film, and uh, yeah. Gonna I really to, like. I I will say I was on a roller coaster with my rating. Mm-hmm. Uh, I came in. I my rating was soured a little bit from the the viewing experience. Do not mm-hmm. watch this on Roku. Or be careful on watching this on Roku because you might encounter a glitch <clears throat> where after you watch the ad, it will rewind the movie as long like as many as long how long the the ads played. It will rewind the movie and it will place another ad break where that ad break was. So in, <clears throat> after three minutes, you'll be stuck with another ad break and you'll just be con- in that constant loop. I. <laughs> I, I literally had my TV on mute and I was just watching while I was watching the the movie on my computer. I I was literally just watching it go through that loop simultaneously. It did not break the, that loop did not break the whole time I was watching. We 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 got the glitch where like it showed that there was going to be ads but it never loaded any ads at all. Oh, uh, yeah, I got super fucking lucky. I I got <laughs> Caught in a perpetual ad loop. <laughs> it was laggy as fuck. There's like some scenes where it really dragged it's, the uh, visuals. It seems like even the it seems like y'all finished the movie before me. Yeah. Like what? Because you were already uh, three minutes something. ahead when because it, you had your ad break and we didn't have it. Yeah. And then you're just like, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, and I fucking I had to find a a different version, but I found one and I caught up. I I wasn't too far behind. It seems. Mm-hmm. But uh, fucking yeah, uh, the marketing for this uh, marketing, I gotta say, uh, the first half, if you if you just shut it off at a certain part because you get super mad, I completely understand why because the marketing does it did they they were very sly and was like oh it's a weird owl fucking documentary that's coming out mm-hmm. uh, biopic with Daniel Radcliffe. Which, it's not. This is a mockumentary, mm. which I'm 100% fine with, but just at the, just coming in, just the first half of it, I was like, man, this is fucking, if this is how it's gonna be, like, it, it's just like him being a dipshit the whole time, just mm-hmm. being like the complete opposite of what Weird Al because Weird Al was like one of the coolest fucking artists ever and in this they make him a complete dipshit like the complete opposite I was like if that's all that they're gonna do then and that's pretty fucking shitty of them like come on man but then <laughs> then Pablo <laughs> has to kidnap Madonna <laughs> and that's when I was like okay I see what you did I see mm. what you did I had, then, I had a lot of fun with this because it was it was very obviously like and I, he had a lot of part of the writing too very obviously written by Weird Al. It's just oh like yeah, a, for sure. A lot of it just seems like it's like almost an inside joke of just like wouldn't it be funny like kind of like on the uh, like when we were just like making movies off the fly. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. And then he it just is did sort it. of like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I can say that. And again. Uh, that's what I love about this kind of is because it they jump the shark but they make sure to blow that fucking shark up with an RPG and you, you know you noticed him as one of the uh, as his a- the agent right yeah yeah he was one of the agents <laughs> I, I did notice that 
He was taking offense to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, oh man, <clears throat> definitely won me over after uh, after the Pablo scene. I I couldn't hate <clears throat> it afterwards. I was like, oh man, what a what a roller coaster ride for a rating, of <clears throat> the. I gotta say the viewing. I uh, I I was after the recovery. I was like, I I I gotta rate this a little higher than I was because the the viewing. I can't. It it's not the movie's fault. Fucking Roku just sucks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That that's Roku's fucking fault, and uh, Roku needs to release this on like Amazon <clears throat> or something so you can rent and buy it. Cause uh, that's bullshit. That's uh, it's bullshit. Done that, on a uh, relatively low budget, too. which is great. I, it's very hard to notice that. It's very. I'm going to assume most of the actors either took very little to no pay on this. To be honest, <clears throat> it seems they like didn't everybody have, like a lot of like A-listers. <laughs> They didn't have any. Uh, they didn't have a lot of A listers. Daniel Radcliffe I guess was like Jack D. Black, maybe, but he's Daniel Radcliffe. A lot of people that are in the same friend group, you know. Yeah, Daniel like Radcliffe is and like the only a real top list A lister in this. Everybody it's else is like a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like the Reno, the Reno nine one one guy. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of C and D listers, but they're like, it was very odd. It was like, oh shit. It's that guy. Oh, and it's that guy. Oh, it's because a lot of them the work fucking, with funnier guys. They did the Deke. I gotta bring this up. They did the Deke <clears throat> fucking dirty. They did the fucking Deke dirty, dude. I can't believe how dirty they did the Deke. <laughs> the Deke? The, the fucking bases from Queens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they fucking did him so fucking dirty. <laughs> I was like, bruh. <laughs> This the fucking Deeks, man. Come on. <laughs> uh, that... uh, fucking. Um, gotta say, I, I'm kind of disappointed they cock teased Eat It. Mm-hmm. We didn't get Eat It. They, they, it's a musical with Weird Al songs, and you. You don't fucking use Eat It. And I'm assuming it's because it's a Michael Jackson parody and they just couldn't... They didn't want to pay homage to Michael Jackson. That or it might be difficult to get the rights maybe now. I don't know who has them. To Eat It? I Surely Weird Al owns the rights <clears throat> to his songs. Surely he no, didn't maybe sell it. I mean, yeah, I, no, I'm just trying to think if there's anything like in the history that would prevent him from doing that. I, I, but I mean the the whole the whole point was that he was like, <laughs> I mean it was it was a conflict within the movie of like eat it was <laughs> yeah I, I get it I get it uh, and I'm going to assume the the joke was because that is that is Weird Al's biggest parody song let's face it that's mm-hmm. you coming in here we're all <clears throat> we were all expecting eat it and we didn't fucking get eat it we got all his other hits but we didn't get eat it. Mm-hmm. Too bad we didn't get more before his tragic assassination, <laughs> 1985. Yeah, that it's poor. <laughs> it's, it's it's so saddening. <laughs> it's, it's but uh, in real reality, uh, we got Amish Paradise. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, got a, he he still makes <clears throat> he still makes parody songs, don't he? Yeah, right he, he does. Yeah, I just haven't he listened to him. He collaborates and he makes his own, too. I, I just haven't listened to him in a while. Because he was... Weird Al, I did love him for like a brief period in like the transition period between middle school and high school. I was mm-hmm. like a, just a huge Weird Al fan for a while. <laughs> but then, of course, I, I fell off after a while. Because it's like, yeah, it's... Look, it's funny. He's uh, making making songs that's kind of more relatable, and <clears throat> <laughs> and it's hilarious. But uh, this don't get me what nerdy. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else to add? 
Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What else? What else? Uh, I, I wish we I wish we got a little bit more side characters, like a little bit more of like the Pee a little bit more of like uh, like fucking uh, what's his name Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Divine, that would have been if we actually got if Divine had a speaking role. <laughs> I, I wish we get the real Pee Wee. I wish we get the real Pee Wee. That's a missed opportunity. I'm pretty sure they could have got the real Pee Wee. Mm. That uh, I'm, it's gl- I'm glad that the guy from uh, Lonely Island Troops got uh, got work, but uh, he ain't fucking Pee Wee. <laughs> I think he was part of the production of this movie and writing too. Still, he's not fucking Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> True. Fucking, uh, Jack Black's role, uh, I... <laughs> Wolfman he Jack. used Bowser's voice. He used Bowser's voice for it in the mm. beginning before he switched over to his normal voice. I noticed that. I was like, <laughs> holy shit, that this legitimately the voice that he uses for Bowser. <laughs> Oh man, that he his role was great in this. Mm-hmm. And it was of course, a fun movie. yeah, it's a fun little romp. Mm-hmm. That's what I have to say about it. Is it was definitely fun, but it's like definitely not like what I put into even like the four point five or a five where I'm like, it's the oh, I'm watching this. Of, uh, you know. I'm re oh, <clears throat> this is rewatchable for me. This is definitely rewatchable for me. I'm, I'd rewatch I would it not if someone mind. else wanted to watch it yeah yeah i i definitely can rewatch this and i probably will it's a little it's still a little this. it's not as long as i thought for some reason i always thought this was longer but uh it, it, it still it still went on a little bit long i think i think uh the ending should have been at the reward at the award ceremony i mm-hmm. i think th- they should have just ended it there and to be honest they should have cut out the I didn't care for the the homage paradise uh backstory mm-hmm. they they could have shortened that up a little bit they they yeah. could they could have just been like <clears throat> oh he's got he stole the fucking song from his dad I did like the after credit scene <laughs> yeah the after credit scene was great but they need to follow it up <laughs> they need to fucking follow that up So yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. It's letterbox time, it's letterbox time, so speech is gonna stretch it out now. Hey. Did you watch this film before see- watching this review? Please let us know. What did you think? Daniel Radcliffe really did seem to have a lot of fun with it. I could definitely see that through the screen that he was just having a having a ball. Makes me wonder if he's a big Weird Al fan. Look at smoke. <clears throat> definitely. The whole the whole thing reminded me that the the comedy style of of all of it's very weird out and very yeah, comedy bang bang. They even had Scott Ackerman uh, cameo as the one of the police who uh, brings young weird out from the uh, from the party from the polka party. <laughs> that was a fun little little uh, cameo. Oh yeah. Scott Ackerman, who would famously uh, co-star with uh, Weird Al and uh, Comedy Big. But yeah, yeah fucking... <laughs> uh, sorry for that brief, weird little segment of the review. Uh, we're gonna... Th- we're gonna wrap this up. I really can't say nothing else. I, I got yeah. kicked off my mojo, so... um. You've I been listening thus uh, Yeah, yeah. I know. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I apologize for this review for being the way it is. Uh, 
But uh, if you've been Sorry listening, for, thank you for being the way we are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, thank you so much for listening this long. Uh, please comment. Please like, comment, and share the video around. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Do you have a sign off, Spooge? Hey, what's your favorite Weird Al song? I'd probably say that listening was. I mean, Amish, uh, yeah, probably Amish Paradise has always had a special place in my heart, tied with uh, White and Nerdy. Nice, nice. All right. And you this will be. Uh, do you have a favorite? Uh, it had to be White and Nerdy. It had to be White and yeah, Nerdy. Okay, there we go. Ed, yeah. There we go. Uh, and this will be a uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, first off, rude. Okay. And second of all, if you really, really don't want to entertain us, then fine. Listen, just leave. Wait, so, so we can just go? Yeah, you can go whenever you want. Psych. Very unfortunate. He was like a god among men.